Hi, I'm making a video to show everyone um, to explain in a little bit of detail about a technology that is has been around for quite some time that can be used um, for automobiles, for engines, for gasoline powered engines and I'm sure many other kind of fueled in uh, different various different fuels powered engines. Um, this is an ultrasonic humidifier and I'm going to read this here to you how it works. The tank feeds water onto the misting tray. The water is atomized by ultrasonic sound waves and propelled in the air by a small fan. These ultrasonic pulses are silent and produce a very fine visible mist. Okay, so this is a picture of the unit. This is the actual unit here. Now they have different kinds of humidifiers. They have some that just heat the water up and boil the water and that makes a hot, like a warm or hot steam. An ultrasonic humidifier does not work that way. It works by way of sound waves. And here is the, the uh, part, the unit itself, right inside there. It's right in there, that shiny, the shiny little disc right there in the middle of the black seal. That actually creates the, the uh, ultrasound. This is an ultrasonic transducer, ultrasonic humidifier. Um, these are also made in larger sizes. Um, industrial sizes which would create much more of it more volume of vapor now this is an ideal technology a very good way of, of vaporizing gasoline and people do run their engines off of these and been, have been doing it for a very long time um, obviously you would want to take this part of the unit here and create you know build a system for it like a probably a, a tank for it that it needs to sit, you know, a couple inches below the surface of the water. That's what this this here is will own, will will prevent this from turning on if there's no water in here. So the water has to be touching this part to ground this. Um, I believe what you can do is bypass this by connecting a wire from here to, I guess, the body of the unit itself and that will allow it to turn on without having water there. In other words, if you use gasoline not in this, but in for this unit here. If you build your own system out of you know metal or some kind of strong material that will not be corroded by gasoline, you can the this sensor would not recognize gasoline as a liquid. So you would want to bypass this by running a wire, a ground wire from here to the the uh, the unit itself. I believe that's how people are doing it. Um, there's many videos on YouTube of people running these using these ultrasonic transducers to uh, atomize, vaporize gasoline and then run the engine off of it. One of the nice things about it, using an ultrasonic transducer humidifier unit is it doesn't use any heat, it uses vibrations. It actually uses sound waves which vibrates the water to the point of cavitation, it's called cavitation. And then um, that actually breaks up the water into a very fine mist. I'm going to give you an example of how this works. Uh, I'm going to use this jar here. Well, here, I'll show you what happens if I don't cover it. It'll kind of splash up, see? So I'm going to cover this so water doesn't splash everywhere. And then I'm going to turn this up all the way. See? And that's a very, very fine vapor extremely fine and that's what you want when running an engine off of vapor va vaporized gasoline you want the finest possible vapor gasoline vapor possible to run that engine right now we're um, engines our cars are using liquid gasoline that is not vaporized and we're basically you know running the engines off of the liquid <coughs> and a little bit of that liquid gasoline becomes vaporized through compression and heat 
but most of it is, is getting burnt in the exhaust system's catalytic converter. So that's, the goal would be to burn the gasoline in the engine because that would give us more miles per gallon, less pollution out the tailpipe, and um, also, from what I've read and studied, it also allows less oil changes because your, because your uh, oil stays cleaner longer because all the gas is being burned in the engine, in the, uh, in, in the uh, cylinders. Instead of, instead of allowing liquid gasoline to enter the uh, combustion chamber of the engine, we're allowing only vapor. Now I'm going to go ahead and put, the, put this unit back on here and allow you to see the amount Look, first of all, notice that this creates instant vapor, instantly. Look at the amount of that, a lot, that's a lot. And this is a very small unit. They make, they make industrial size humidifiers that can vaporize large amounts of, of, lick of water. And those same, same ultrasonic transducers can be used to vaporize gasoline. So if I put gasoline in here and I ground out the, uh, I ground the, um, the ultrasonic transducer, it would vaporize the gasoline. It would look the same. It would look very similar as you see the water, except obviously it would be extremely explosive. And it wouldn't even be hot, it would just be a cool mist. But any flame would ignite it, obviously. But I'm just, I just want to show everyone that this is a different technology that does not use heat. It uses ultrasound. And there's the unit there. But if you were to use gasoline in here, you would have to ground the wire. This little probe would have to be grounded, run a wire from here to the body of this unit, which is underneath this or probably touch it on the surface of that. One important thing is that you do not want to touch this, the surface of that shiny piece here when it's on. And you also do not want to run it without any liquid touching it because that will burn it up. And if you were to touch it with your finger when it was on, it would burn the finger. Not a heat burn, but it would be, it would be an, you know, an, ultrasound, an ultrasound burn, but it would feel the same. So it's not getting hot, but it's using sound vibrations, sound pulses. It's an amazing technology that's been here for quite some time, many, many years. And this is just a demonstration to show everyone that this can be used for vaporizing gasoline. And it would probably at least double the miles per gallon on any vehicle, no matter how big or small it was. So there's a lot of people experimenting with this technology now, and it, it does work. So this model here is model, it's a, it's um, V5100NS and it costs like just over $50. And what's good about using these for the house is it adds humidification, it adds humidity to the air. So that's what's good about using them for the home. But these units here, the ultrasonic transducer can be purchased separately online many places sell these. You would have to look. Um, and if you're going to experiment with this uh, with gasoline, be sure to do lots of research in, in terms of being safe with your, with your testing. Thank you.